Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Grey, this is Consultronics, and in some of my recent uploads I have taken a close look at some fantastic titles that never left Japan, despite being brilliant pick-up-and-play games, like Cotton Fantastic Night Dreams on the PC Engine and Umihara Kawase for the Super Famicom. Today, however, the pendulum swings to the other end of the Japanese exclusive spectrum as I bring to you Pepsi Man for the PlayStation 1. An odd one this. I couldn't tell you if this superhero inspired piece of Americana dreamt up by Japanese advertisers who only seemingly know the West through its popular culture is still the face of Pepsi Cola in Japan. The one thing I do know however is that this wasn't Pepsi Man's first appearance in a video game. That dubious honour actually goes to Sega and their all but forgotten 3D beat em up Fighting Vipers, where Pepsi Man would be an unlockable character. But what about the PS1 game I hear you all cry in unison? Well it's an on rails running and collect em up, which is like a precursor to the explosion of similar games that would be released in droves for the mobile market following the success of Temple Run. Now whether you took a side in the Cola Wars or are strictly teetotal, as corporate mascots go, Pepsi Man isn't unique. In the West, Cool Spot was a popular platform game for 8 and 16 bit platforms and has gained a cult following in recent years, despite being based off the red circle in the 7up logo. And in Japan, there was another superhero named Yaki Soban who promoted instant noodles and proved so popular with local audiences he got not one but two Super Famicom scrolling beat em ups. I swear I'm not making this up. But back to the subject at hand, which ultimately comes down to, is the game good or not? Well, yes, incredibly, it is. Despite being nothing more than a playable product placement for flavoured sugar water, it is an excellent, fast-paced and at times exhilarating short burst kind of game. What surprised me about it, other than the live action segments, which don't do a good job in selling Pepsi to me and probably better show what the Japanese really think of foreigners, but what surprised me about this game is when it was released, as I had just assumed it was an early mid-90s effort. But no, this came out in 1999, after Final Fantasy VIII, after Resident Evil 2 and after Metal Gear Solid. I don't know if this was the tie-in to some sort of promotion in Japan or whether these kinds of novelty games just always sell well in the land of the rising sun, despite the competition. Overall, if you're looking for something a little different, a little unique, I would definitely suggest you give Pepsi Man a blast. It's better than you would expect, and it's completely in English, so there is no language barrier to hinder your enjoyment. So my name's Grey, this has been a quick little video to tide you guys over while I'm working on bigger projects, which hopefully you'll see soon. I started a new job recently and I'm waiting for everything to settle down so I can get some free time to make my videos. But if you all miss me that much, then check out my second channel, Video Holocaust, where I review action movies, anime and all sorts of cult cinema. Just click the links on screen. So more videos up hopefully very soon, so thank you very much for watching and goodbye.